All right, the continuation of uh, Christian Prince Dismantling Islam, also known as Dismantling Islam with Christian Prince, continues. And uh, since some of them weren't able to download, I don't know what number this is. I don't know. I don't think it really matters. But anyway, the continuation continues. This time he is talking about... Uh, um, all the time. Yeah. So, the Bible says for God, one day to God is a thousand years, and a thousand years is is a is one day to a God. Uh, and but Allah in, in the Quran, it's rever it, it, There's no reverse. It's it's just one day that we count. I see here, uh, a, a, a day to Allah is a thousand years of what we count. In other words, Allah moves very slow. Also, it says one day to us is a thousand. One day to Allah is a, is is fifty thousand years, to of what we count. So, take your pick: is it a thousand years or fifty thousand years that Allah uh, exists in? So, either way, Allah is very slow, and much slower if it's fifty thousand years. So, anyway, I'll continue here. By the way, Christian Prince's videos are very long. Is this the, if this is the first video I've seen, the reason why I've broken up into this series is because, again, his videos are very long, can't download them, and I think he's really good at exposing Islam. Really, really good. He's like, well, the thing that's different about him and Dave Wood is that he is a native Arabic speaker, so he knows the current, what the Quran is saying. A Muslim can't accuse him, say, well, if you only knew the original Arabic, you'd know blah, blah, blah. So anyway, it continues now. Bye which means the first of the creation of God, it was the clay. And then, this is Saturday. And then he created the mountains on Sunday. And then he created the trees in Monday. <clears throat> he created things entitling labor in Tuesday. And he created the light on Wednesday. And he caused the animals to spread on Thursday. I don't know when he created them. <laughs> and he created Adam, bees upon him, after noon Friday. Like, what the heck? I thought this is billions of years. Does it say that he created Adam after noon? Do you see how they lie to you, my friends? It says in front of you, he created Adam At a Friday afternoon. Let us go back to the Quran. Not only this is enough to get them busted, but we will show you more. Because here, the verses they mentioned to us, by the way, all the verses they quote for us in the article, it include a big, huge disaster. Why? Because the Muslims in their article, they said that the universe is created first, and then the earth was created after. Is that correct? Read with me, please. Read with me. <clears throat> All those days are on the throne. The frame of reference creation is still uh, uh, still the throne, where all where God says He created the heaven and the earth and everything between, including you and me in six days. That means referring to the period of the existence of the earth has been existence for two days. Did they say there the word earth? Guys, did they, did they say in the article the word earth? That means that he referring to the period of the existence of the earth has been exist for two days out of the six days. Okay, but they said to us that the universe, in the previous lines, the universe is exists for 13.4.7 billion years. And the earth is exist for 4.57 billion years, which means which one is exist first, guys, based in their article. Based in the Abdul article, which one is exist first? If the universe is created 13.7 billion years ago, and the Earth is created 4.57 billion years ago, that means the Earth created first. 
sorry, after, based on the article. But if we go in the Quran from the same verses they are quoting for us, you will see that this is not what the Quran says. Let us show you. Let us get the Abdul busted. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's my favorite. In chapter 2, verse number 29, Yusuf Ali translation. Ta -da -da. Read with me, please. Unless you are illiterate like Muhammad. I mean, I don't know whether to say to you, read. Should I, should I squeeze you? Like the Injil, the Jibreel, he squeezed Muhammad? All right, look with me. <clears throat> In this chapter, the Quran, saying it clearly, it is he who created, who has created for you all things that are on earth. Moreover, this is false translation, it says, and then after that, he created the heaven. Not after that, he designed and comprehended the heaven. This is false translation. Let me show you how we can get the Abdul translation busted. We have just to change the translation. And you will see how the story changed. Do you see how the story changed? Amazing, Allahu Akbar. The verse is not the same verse anymore. You just change the translator. Look, it is he who created for you all that in earth. Then, then, then. Should I say then more? Then turned he to the heaven. And he fashioned it as seven heaven. So based in the Quran, the first thing Allah, he created and he finished everything in earth. It was earth. Guys, do you see it? People in YouTube, are you able to see? By the way, right now we have 99 people watching in YouTube. I mean, does that remind you of something? We have 99, 99 people watching. I think Allah is with us. Allah have 99 names. I think every one of you is Allah. I mean, Allah have 99 names. I mean, what he will lose if you make it 100? Ah, the 99 is multiply of the Trinity. Ah, okay. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim X3. Why, why, why is that? Why everything is time is based on number three? Even the names of Allah, even when the Muslim, they recite the Quran, they say, in the name of the three names of Allah. Ar-Rahman, Allah, Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim. Let us go by the topic. <sighs> by the way, I'm drinking. Uh, uh, not really tea. I'm, I'm doing the what the Prophet, peace upon him, he taught us. Camel urine. It's hot and it's so tasty and so delicious. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I advise you to try it. <laughs> Let's go back to the topic. So the Quran confirmed that Allah created the earth first and everything in earth. And then the stars was created after. The stars was created after. Because as you see, the earth was finished. Look, read with me, guys, read with me carefully, please. You know, the, the problem is, most of us, when we read, we don't focus. This is the truth. People, they have a problem to focus and, and go deep. Uh, it is he who created for you all that in earth. All. Do you see it? This is not my words. All that in earth. Then he went to the heaven. Okay, what he did? He fashioned it. And he made it seven heavens. So earth was exist before the heaven. And earth was exist before the stars. I'm going to quote for you from verses the Muslims they quote in their articles. Just to get them busted from their own quotation. We go back here. Okay, do you see here it says... Chapter 22, verse number 47. This is about one day is equal to 1,000 years. However, 
if we go down the quote for us chapter 41 verse number 9 the question why the Muslims quote for us chapter 41 verse number 9 but they don't quote for us all the verses speaking about the creation of the earth and the heaven anyone knows let us go to chapter 41 verse number 9 Ta -da -da -da. Oh, unbelievable 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 <laughs> I, I want to say thank you to Eddie who always keep posting the verses in the pal talk thank you Eddie, for that and may, may, the, may the name God bless you with versions all right if we go in the Quran we will find the following <clears throat> hope I will not lose my voice. All right. In chapter 41, verse number 9, it says the following. I'm going to show you guys the Muslim translation as of their choice, which is Yusuf Ali. Say, is it that you deny him who created the earth in two days? So the earth was created in two days. He set on earth mountains standing firm. So according to Quran, Allah, he placed mountains at the top of the earth, which is a stupid mistake, have nothing to do with science. Because all of us, we knew that the mountains are not coming from the top of the earth. Nobody placed them there. You know, what, what, what the Quran described the earth is the same as a sheet. You are going to picnic and there's wind. So what, what uh, the sheet is moving. You know, you put something to sit in with your wife and your children's. And the wind is taking the sheet away. So what do you do? You look for some rocks or some uh, stuff. You put it in the top, in the corners. So you stop the sheet from moving. And this is what the Quran is saying. So he set on earth, standing fir firm, uh, a mountain standing firm. And later in different verse, he says, so the earth will not be shaking. Will not be moving. So. Allah created the earth into heaven, in, in, sorry, in two days, and then he created the mountains in the top of them. And he put, bestowed the blessing of the, on the earth in four, and measure of all things in four days. So what is the total now? Two days here. Two days here, let us highlight them. <clears throat> two days to create the earth. Right? I gotta then, stop it. Running out we of have time. Four days <coughs> to create everything above the earth. It'll be continued. mountains, Bye. substance, etc.